Here we have in 2nd Baruch, and if you have not read 2nd Baruch, I highly recommend it because it is it teaches the Torah, it enforces the Torah, it proves that the Torah is for all generations, that you should be using the Torah in your daily life. You should be using it as your guide. You should be using it to weigh out your decisions during the day. Is it of the Torah? Is it not of the Torah? If you have something important that has to be in your life and you have to make the decision, what does it weigh against the Torah? Does it not weigh against the Torah? These are the things you need to do. And here in 2nd Baruch 44, Verse 3, it says, But withdraw ye not from the way of the Torah, but guard and admonish the people which remain, lest they withdraw from the commandments of Elohim. And why does he say, don't let the people walk away from the Torah? Because when you walk away from the Torah, you walk out of the covenant. You walk out of your opportunity of that second life, of the life of greatness, which would be entering the Shamaim. This life here will pass away, but when you enter eternity, when you die, when you go on to the next world, that is forever. There is no going back. There is no making the second decision. And you want to be on the right side of, of Yah's people. You don't want to be against Him when that day comes to judgment and He says, why didn't you follow my commands? All I asked you was a simple thing. Simple commands, nothing hard. And what will your answer be that you didn't know? And if you're hearing this video today, you can't use an excuse that you didn't know. Today is the day to look for the Torah. Today is the day to find Yah. Today is the day to open your Bible. Start in Genesis. Genesis 1. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That is where you begin. That is your beginning of the Torah. Read it from front to back. Read it over and over and over and over again until you understand the Torah, understand the laws, understand the nature of our Creator because He wants us to keep the Torah. He wants to see us in eternal life. He does not want to see us suffering and in pain, but we only have to do simple things. We are given a choice of free will, but we are also given a decision to make. It is going. To, there is going to be consequences and there is going to be blessings that come with these things. So keep the Torah, keep the faith, and keep reading your Bibles.